Welcome back, everyone. I just wanted to do a, a quick video talking about having your Emacs configuration in an org mode file. Keeping your configuration in an org mode file allows you to keep things like organized and modular. And if you're trying to have a minimalist system, uh, that's important because it, it helps you find and isolate areas you want to troubleshoot if something is not working correctly. So that's the way I do it. Um, so here's the example that we're going to uh, run off of today. You see how when I open Emacs here, it goes beyond the bottom of my screen. I would like it to open up in uh, a full window like this, taking up uh, all this screen real estate here. So I'm going to go into my Emacs configuration to change that. And uh, for most people, you might have your Emacs configuration in somewhere, you know, like in the home directory, the .emacs file. Uh, that's the easiest place to put it. You might have uh, like the init file in a different location. The location of your configuration file can be uh, relative. Emacs checks a few different locations. But uh, for me, the home directory is simple enough, uh, but you can see I actually changed the configuration from an org mode file. So let's actually go to that file and we'll make the change. So I have it in a directory called strats, which is in the home directory as well. That stands for strategic resource files. Pretty fancy. So basically this is the this is the file right here, config.org. So you see it's just an org mode file with source code blocks in it for Emacs Lisp. And you can change these to uh, pretty much any any language you have org babel configured to use. So these can be uh, bits of sh, they could be bits of Python, uh, anything that you you want to have. You could even do like a um, like a general configuration that you can use for your Git configuration. Like pretty much any configuration file, you could even have all of them in in one singular org mode file and send individual snippets to individual files. You can see here with this property header dash args they all tangle to the .emacs file in my home directory. So the whole file goes to one other file. It's tangled, basically, that's the word, into an Emacs file. And that only takes the code snippets. It doesn't take the little bits of text I have in between them. That's an easy way to do it. All you have to do is, once you've made your configuration changes, you do Control-C, Control-V, and then the letter T and you see it tangled 32 code blocks from config.org and it put them into the .emacs file. We can actually turn on my my keys so that we can see what's going on. All right, so let's actually go to that configuration that I wanted to change. So I should already have it here. Uh, the function is toggle frame maximized. So you see I must have uh, disabled it for some reason, so I'm going to go ahead and uncommented out and now it is part of the configuration again so i'm going to tangle it control c control v and then t now all of the code blocks have been tangled into the emacs init file so i'm going to go ahead and save this in case i made any changes and i'm going to just close emacs and now when i open it back up again you see my configuration has changed it loaded the 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 new changes that have been made in the .emacs file and I can hit F11 and you know get full screen and all that. Uh, so that's it. I just wanted to do a, a quick video about that because um, it might actually be a good micro lesson. But uh, I think it's uh, it's a nice way to keep your configuration in an org file because you can organize it and you can you know write about you know what each section is doing so that if something breaks, you know as I said, you you're it's all pretty modular so you can understand what's going on and you can troubleshoot more easily. Uh, but that's it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time.